Hey, welcome to the Craft Beer Review. Today I'm talking about my homebrewed rye Kolsch, and here it is. Uh, looks pretty good to me. Uh, nice golden color, uh, nice one finger white head on top, decent amount of bubbles heading to the surface, pretty good clarity. Right now I'm holding my fingers about three inches behind that glass. Uh, now, it's, now they're right up against it. Uh, not bad clarity, uh, considering I did not use any uh, specific or uh, special um, ingredients uh, in order to clarify the beer. That's just uh, brewing process and uh, time, <laughs> letting it age a little bit, uh, letting the uh, uh, yeast settle out. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the clarity. Uh, I did use flaked rye in the recipe and I've never used it before. Uh, I was expecting it to create a, a nice haze in the beer. So this is actually a little bit more clear than I was expecting. All right, let's talk about the uh, recipe real quick. I used six pounds of German Pilsner, one pound, 12 ounces of flaked rye, and one pound of Vienna malt, just to uh, kind of bump up the uh, bready flavors a little bit, give it a little bit of complexity. Um, I used one ounce of Tetanang hops for 60 minutes of the boil, and then used another 0 0.8 ounces uh, in the last 15 minutes as a flavor addition. Um, that uh, gave me about 20 IBUs. Um, my original gravity was 1052, so that works out to a bitterness ratio of about 0 0.395. So this is a little bit on the malty side, uh, which is what I was going for. Um, and I got a 5.2% alcohol by volume on this. I did ferment this at 65 degrees Fahrenheit until it was done, then I cold crashed it. Um, oh, for the mash, I did mash this at 148 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour, and then I mashed out at 168 degrees. Um, let's see. I will put the recipe Oh, for the yeast, I did use uh, Fermentis' German Ale K97 uh, dry yeast. Um, I've had good luck with that yeast in the past. And uh, I think that does it for the uh, recipe. I'll put all of that in the uh, notes. All right, let's check out the beer. Again, let's see. Yeah, that's, um, I'm liking that clarity. That came out pretty well. I know for no special uh, ingredients. Mm. That is a nice rye bread aroma right there. Low to moderate in intensity. I love rye bread. I love rye bread. I love the smell of rye bread. Oh, that smells good. Oh yeah, I'm liking that aroma. All right, cheers. Mmm. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna say that's a win. <laughs> I'm liking that. Uh, first impressions on that sip. In the aroma, it was kind of just strong rye bread aroma. Not much else going on. Uh, the f rye flavor is less intense and there's other flavors going on. Um, there's some Pilsner malt graininess. Uh, there's some just kind of standard bready flavors. Uh, it's got a nice light malt body to it. Uh, whew, kind of nice smooth finish. Oh my God, I love that aroma. Oh, that's nice. That's clean, that's crisp. That kind of light, bready flavors. 
some rye flavor, some Pilsner malt graininess, a maybe a little bit of hop character to it. Not much, maybe a little bit. That could be in my imagination. Um, and a nice smooth finish. Um, I wish I had uh, brewed this earlier in the summer. <laughs> I brewed this at the end of August. Uh, that's why I'm enjoying it here in the fall. This would be a great summer beer. It really would. Wow, that aroma is really standing out to me. I could really, the rye really comes out in the aroma. Oh, that's a win. I'm definitely going to be brewing this one again. Uh, it was, it's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Like I said, I've never brewed with rye before, and I used flake rye for this. I was hoping for some sort of uh, rye bread flavors, and that's pretty much what I got. Um, I would say overall, they're the, uh, it's light bodied. The bready flavors are low in intensity, but definitely present and distinct. <sighs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, if anyone brews with rye uh, and has any suggestions on a rye Kolsch or another uh, style of beer where they use rye, let me know in the comments. I'm looking to uh, incorporate it into some other beers, so uh, let me know. Cheers.